the size, the shape, the taste, the odor. Did you hear adjectives in the story? Did you hear that? You know what time it is. Let's go to our thinking board and learn about adjectives. children hello children how are you how are you uh, thank you for tuning in today thank you for tuning in today how are you how are you hello my beautiful children and thank you for tuning in to another episode with the glam girl reads i am your favorite read aloud host miss glam it is my pleasure to bring to you another read aloud. This read aloud is entitled Skin Like Mine. What do you think the storyline would be with this story? Hmm, Skin Like Mine. Do you think they're gonna be talking about alligators? Hmm, is there anything on the cover that tells us they're gonna be talking about alligators? Not quite. Hmm, do you think they're going to be talking about skin complexion? <gasps> Did you give a thumbs up? Well, you are absolutely right. We are going to be talking about different skin complexions. And Arthur was able to make a comparison of skin color with different yummy foods. So, without... Did you hear that? You know what time it is. Let's go to our thinking board and learn about adjectives. Our adjectives are going to help us to understand how the author has been very creative with her words and bringing to you a spectacular understanding about skin complexion. So let's head to our thinking board. Thinking board, thinking board. The thinking board topic for today is adjectives. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun, such as a person, place, or thing. An adjective gives more information about a noun or pronoun by answering one of these questions. Which kind, which one, how many? Can you name the object in the picture? Did you say tree? Very good. So when we think about adjectives, we think about words to describe things. So in this case, it would be the tree. What color is your tree? Good job. What size is your tree? How about its shape? Do you think it has an odor? How do you think it feels? What is the texture? What sound does a tree make? How many are there? Everything that you just said is an adjective. That means it was describing the noun. We talked about the color, the size, the shape, the taste, the odor, the texture, the sound, the number, and sometimes we can also talk about weather. Let's do a couple more examples together. The gray cat is stretching. Which word is an adjective? Did you say gray? Way to go. I think it's time for a brain break. Until I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Way to go, children. Did an awesome job today with our thinking board. Let's try one more sample. Here we go. The clouds are white. Which word is the adjective? Did you say white? Wow, outstanding. So again, this story is called Skin Like Mine. And the author, remember the author is the one who does what? What does the author do? Does the author write the words? Or does the author draw the pictures? Or does the author take the pictures? Did you say write the words? You are absolutely correct. You really came with your thinking brain on today. So yes, the author 
is Letitia and Perry, and she's the one who wrote the words. And because these are not photographs, this is going to be an illustrator. And the illustrator is Jackson. B. Jackson is the illustrator. So we'll be able to see the wonderful pictures along with read the beautiful words. Like mine is quite divine. In fact, I'll say it's one of a kind. I wouldn't trade it for any other shade. I love my brown skin. Oh, where do I begin? My sister and I are both shades of brown. Me, like peanut butter, and she, a hazelnut spread. Both creamy and smooth. If I had to choose, it'd be hard for me because both are so yummy. Skin like mine is really neat, sort of like a brownie treat. Dark chocolate brown, so tasty and sweet. I love my skin from my head to my feet. When I look at grandpa's skin, you know what comes to mind? Caramel, that's it. A touch of golden brown drizzle on top of your ice cream. Ooh wee! This is making my tummy hungry. My best bud in the whole world, Sean. We're like cookies and cream. When we're together, our skin color doesn't mean a thing because we know it's what's inside that matters the most. Color should never keep two people from being close. Imagine a world with one who of colors, how boring that would be. I don't know about you, but I like variety. Like a bag of lollipops, each bringing a different splash of favor to my mouth. If everyone was the same, wouldn't that be a shame? Skin like mine is quite divine. In fact, I'll say it's one of a kind. I wouldn't trade for any other shades. I love my skin. Oh, how I love my brown skin. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bomb, bomb, bubbly, bop, ba la 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 la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. How did you like that story? Was the story about alligators? No. The story was about what? Different skin complexions. You are absolutely right. Just like the author said, color should never keep two people apart. It should bring them close together because differences is unique and we have to embrace uniqueness because what would the world be with everybody being the same? Let's check for understanding. Did you hear adjectives in the story? What adjectives did you hear? Yes, I heard those also. Very good thinking. Thank you for tuning in to another read aloud. Remember, we have several read alouds that have already been pre recorded. So if you want to go back and find another read aloud, please go back and enjoy them. I hope you had an awesome read aloud experience. And until next time, do you remember how to do the firework? Left, right, left, right, and divide. Left, right, and divide. Right and divide. So long.